in a way, one may argue that he was irreplaceable, uh, at least in a short time. Uh, he was uh, fighting shoulder to by shoulder with these forces in the region, and he was the one that was communicating with them, communicating with them face uh, face to face. He was in uh, Lebanon when there was a war between uh, Hezbollah and Israeli forces. He was in Iraq when uh, Iran was uh, in war with, with ISIS, and he, he traveled to most of these countries freely and any that any time that he wanted. And as I said, he was in direct. Uh, communication with all Iran's proxies and the, the commanders that were leading those forces. So it's not going to be easy for Iran to find another person that is uh, known to all of these forces and can be trusted by all of them. There is a small minority that are condemning this uh, attack, but majority of the people, what we see on social media, especially on Twitter, on Instagram, most people are kind of happy that this has happened. Please do not forget that um, almost six weeks ago, there was an unrest uh, inside Iran, protests over 100 cities, and in most of these cities, IRGC, Iran's uh, Revolutionary Guard Corps, was the major force that suppressed this uh, protest and they killed hundreds of people. As you know, uh, Reuters reported 1,500 people, up to 1,500 people were killed in these streets. So IRGC for most of the people is responsible for these killings. So uh, it is obvious that some of the people or what we see on the social media, majority of them are happy, are jubilant and they are uh, congratulating this to each other but at the same time there are some other people that uh, are angry are condemning this and they are saying that uh, what US did uh, is terrorism this is how they are putting it